a very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Cleveland Browns. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He was brought down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Cousins now. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On play action, Cousins. Over the middle to Smith. Three yards the gain there, second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's Cousins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On third down, Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Six yard line. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 36. Again, it's Cousins. And he's got the hook up here. It's Kyle Rudolph. And they get this one to about the 20 yard gain 16 yards there and a first down again but when you hit him on the move like that and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam oh boy it's gonna be tough to get him down yeah there was a big window they're lucky they did get him down from the red zone now cousins Johnson with a completion over the middle and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two a good pick up there. Eight yards of the first down completion. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. Throwing again on second down. Cousins. That's complete right around the eight. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. A first down from Minnesota. Cousins finding Thielen. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They try again with Cook. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. 
Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Third and goal for Cousins. He's got his man. He's taken in for a freaking touchdown. B.C. Johnson there to make the grab. And the Vikings take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. Is good. Makes the score. Vikings 7, Browns nothing. Kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. 26 yard line. up now first and 10 at their own 26 first carry for Nick Chubb and he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25 officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the 25 yard line After one, seven nothing. Audie Sports. Vikings seven, Browns nothing. Second and eleven. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. No gain on the play. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. K.J. Osborne deep for Minnesota. Fielded at the 33. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Vikings will be set up well as they take over in great field position. First and 10. First down. Here's the run with Cook. B.J. Goodson there on the tackle. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. On second down, Cook. 
And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Back to back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory though, if they're stopped. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. No I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? No, you did. That line's not even told for I'll tell you that much for free. And he's taken down inside the 30. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Cousins now to throw on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, just like last play. Nothing flashy there in the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. They'll run on first down. Cook. And he will be brought down with a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. the shotgun it's Cousins and this will be incomplete a physical play on the football there and it's second down he did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived and I've got to tell you you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him sometimes you panic as well and think I've got to be there right now instead in this case timed it perfectly and knocked it free Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. But now it's third and goal. All right, Captain. He's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it against you. I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. There's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. 
Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. For them to be good teammates right here, what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Mayfield trying to get him up to the line as fast as he can. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Gladney. And he'll get this back across the midfield. Strikeman down to the 47-yard line. Mayfield's pass intercepted. The Vikings take over first down. Following the interception, Cousins. He's going to get this one down to Cook. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now the Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. To throw again on second down. Cousins. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Off the play fake. Cousins. And that is incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. JoJo Natson back deep. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Out of bounds. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Play fake. Mayfield. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Mayfield from the gun on third down. Looking for Landry, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. And it is now 21 to nothing. Makes the score. Vikings 21. Browns nothing.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Now Donovan Peoples-Jones. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. Back to it after the pick six. Mayfield will get this one underneath to Hunt. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A first down throw for Mayfield. Got a man, that's Rashard Higgins. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the gun, Mayfield gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Incomplete. He was covered by Jeff Gladney. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Going to the air again with Mayfield. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, Peoples-Jones returning. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts it. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. There to knock that one away defensively, Eric Kendricks. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Second and 10 now from the 27. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. This pass complete to Higgins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. The ball carrier. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Hey, 
from the 41. Mayfield, they'll go screen here to Hunt. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Mayfield to throw it. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, that's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Mayfield on play action. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 43. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to 1st and 10. Cook. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The last run got six, now second and four. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in their second-half blowout material. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. TJ Goodson. That was a really nice play. He'll be able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Again, it's Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Setting up the screen for Cook, and he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Dan Bailey on for the field goal. A 34-yard attempt. 
And Bailey able to knock it through. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Jones returning. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now Mayfield lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they are going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return, a scoop and score for the Vikings. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. You talk about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. Now, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Makes the score. Vikings 31. Browns nothing. Turn will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. And they've done a great job of doing that. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield. Will be stopped at the 34 yard line. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there at the 34 yard line. They run. Cook gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They run it again with Cook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. 
Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Cook. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Bailey's kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done. Jones returning. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And if finally we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Mayfield looks to throw. the football, but I think a Brown was able to recover, and they'll indeed hold on to the ball here. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine, and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? And that will be incomplete. That incomplete is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration, the body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here's Jamie Gillen down as he'll kick it away for the second time. Five yards that time on the punt, and we have reached the two-minute warning. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again with this lead and the football. Things obviously looking good, but maybe you know, you've taught me this before. Maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a run with Cook. 
gave him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will have a Vikings first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. Carry it's Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Sheldon Richards. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Good well, hits the team on defense. Today's final so the final seconds have tipped away in this Minnesota victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, up a little extra spring in your step. And it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Vikings as we say so long from Minneapolis.